Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles and as you can see I have this huge box sent to me free from Hasbro Pulse. It is for PulseCon 2021 which is this weekend and this thing is absolutely incredible. They said that they were going to be sending out a swag package. I was expecting maybe some clothes, a couple of toys, something to advertise PulseCon. This thing weighs a ton. I cannot wait to see what's inside this thing. It's heavy, it's big, it's definitely toys, and you're gonna love it. Now on top of this, on Saturday, I'm actually going to be appearing on uh, Hasbro PulseCon, so I'm gonna be part of the virtual audience in the background, so if you tune in, you might actually see me on screen at some point. But I do just wanna say an absolutely huge, massive thank you to Hasbro Pulse uh, for sending this out to me. I mean, I, I cannot wait to see what's inside this thing, and I'm sure you guys can't too, but this is incredible. Now I'm tired, I look half dead, it's been a long day at work, uh, but there's no way that I was leaving this video uh, until another day. I'm gonna be busy tomorrow, so there's no way I can wait till Thursday. This thing has to be sorted out tonight, and let's go ahead and crack this thing open. It's resting on my knee, it's quite heavy, so yeah, I'm gonna get this thing down. Okay, so here we have it opened up, and I'm in a position where I can kind of show you. This is a big box, and I don't have a lot of space right now because I've got a ton of other boxes around me, as you can see. Um, but let's go ahead and start. There's a couple of cards on the top here. Um, it says, please read before posting. Well, I'm doing that. I'm reading it before I'm posting it. Uh, and it basically says, make sure you say that Hasbro gave or sent it to me for free. So, just in case you guys need any proof there you are you can read that hopefully it's not backwards it shouldn't be um, Hasbro did send this package out to me for free uh, for marketing for PulseCon and I can already see a couple of the things in here and they are things that I would actually like to buy but thought hmm I don't know maybe not yet or maybe a little bit pricey um, I cannot believe that they sent this stuff out to me I seriously can't. Um, just want to mention everything that's in here I will be doing reviews of and I'll be doing reviews of this week and, and uploading most of it this week um, and also I'll be posting everything on Instagram as well so you'll see all this stuff together you'll see it all when I do the reviews as well so uh, if you're excited in this stuff just like I am uh, I'm trying to obviously help grow the channel so Try and watch them all if you can and, and share them if you can if you really want to see more from me and see all of this stuff. So here we have Hasbro PulseCon 2021 and da -da 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 -da, October 22nd to the 23rd. Um, a front row seat to live stream panels, celebrity and talent appearances. Not really, but I'm just going to be in the background. But um, More than 65 new product reveals and pre-orders. Oh, that's a lot. Um, live product unboxings and giveaways. Ooh, giveaways. Uh, immersive entertainment experiences. And exclusive Hasbro PulseCon merchandise. Very, very nice. And then we have a couple of the uh, the reps, I guess, that work with Hasbro that helped uh, set this stuff up. And Deanna, I think is how you pronounce her name, is actually the one that spoke to me. So thank you very much for setting this up for me. And then... Yep, so on the back it tells me all the stuff and the prices of what's in the box. So if you want to pause that, you can read it and spoil it for yourself, or you can just watch. So, let's go. Um, I'm going to start furthest away from me because the box is a little bit heavy on that side. So, ooh. Ooh, we love an ooh. Wow. So we have the Marvel Legends Avengers Endgame. Infinity Saga, Iron Man Mark, bloody blur, can't read that off, the, I can't remember what mark that was off the top of my head, uh, versus Thanos. Wow. There we go, I read the package, it's the Mark 85, so yeah. I know a lot of people probably know that, but I didn't, so yeah. Wow. This set does look absolutely amazing regardless, I mean it's the best version um, of Thanos so far, and he's got the dusty bits on him as if he's being faded away. Spoiler alert for anyone that hasn't watched Endgame, oh well. And, you know, it's an old comic, Infinity Gauntlet and everything, so, yeah, old news, whatever. Um, but yeah, the fact that you can have that clean version of Iron Man, or have it with Tony's face being 
you know, kind of eroded away and everything, and you've got him with his own gauntlet and everything. Uh, likewise for Thanos, although you can have his different uh, normal head pieces, but he's always going to have that uh, beat up chest. But they do look incredible. Love that they've got that poster on the back as well. Uh, but the Infinity Saga uh, figures are actually more expensive than the regular Marvel Legends line um, by a little bit. So normal Marvel Legends are like 17, 18, 19, 20 pounds. Um, Infinity Saga stuff is normally like 24, 25, 26 pounds. So yeah, that's that's incredible. I mean, that's like 50 quid right there. Um, I'm seeing another Marvel Legends Infinity Saga figure. I knew it was there because I saw it on that uh, thing in the box anyway. Um, but this is Thor. We have fat armoured Thor with a bunch of accessories in there. We have the um, lightning version, like he's got he's got the litter pies, he's got the lightning version of, uh, of both of his hammers. Uh, and the, wow, that, that is a really, really cool figure. And I can't wait to see that next to the Fat Thor uh, Builder figure that we got, which I still have that wave to open up and review as well. But it'll be great to see them next to each other, maybe standing like back to back as if he's like just transformed. That is so cool. All right, next up, something far away. He, we're moving to Transformers now, and we have the new Covert Agent Ravage, along with Decepticons Forever Ravage, which is the little cassette in there. I really liked the look of this. Um, it's part of the Wolf Cybertron trilogy and obviously with the whole Beast Wars thing. Um, I really did love the look of this thing, but it is a bit pricey for a deluxe figure because of the accessories that it comes with. It has these really nice chromed pieces there as well. Um, that is absolutely amazing that they've sent that out. Um, they're very recent Marvel Legends. This is like literally brand new Transformers. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, we love another rule. That looks so good. I love Power of the Force boxes. This is Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch. Um, it's called the Cantina Showdown. So we have Dr. Evazan and Ponda Baba, which I've never, I've heard those names. I've never known their names properly. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but I've never like properly known those names. I've never really needed to know those names, so now I know. Um, awesome looking Obi-Wan. Uh, we do have some accessories in the back. Looks like there is some blue milk, so thank God for that. Um, wow. And it has like a full-on whole bar set up and everything. And again, the box that it's in resembles the 90s Power of the Force stuff. And it's probably my favorite Star Wars box design stuff. All the super shiny uh, green on there. You've got Darth Vader. I absolutely adore the Power of the Force stuff. So this is great. And it's uh, part of the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. That is also a very expensive set. I mean, you're looking at the very least 80 quid because of it being uh, three six inch black series figures. So next up we have G.I. Joe classified series. Uh, I do have a uh, classified snake eyes and that's all I was going to get from the line. I would like more but at the same time it's a lot of money just to start collecting another line. Um, but this is the Master of D Disguise Zartan. I uh, was about to call him Zlatan. That's a footballer. Um, that artwork on the back of the box is awesome. And <laughs> that is so cool. So we've got his different faces on a revolving card. That is awesome. Now I know just from when Kapow got this guy um, that that is a recent release as well. So that's cool. That's a much more intricate box than most other um, uh, G.I. Joe figures. So I don't know if there's a ton of accessories in that or what. Next up we have uh, Lucky from the Ghostbusters Plasma series line. So this is uh, one of the new Ghostbusters Afterlife characters. And on the back it is part of a Builder Ghost Sentinel Terror Dog. We gotta love Terror Dogs. Um, so we've got Trevor jump straight out of uh, Stranger Things. 
uh, podcast, Lucky, who we have here, and then Peter, Ray, and Winston, but older versions of them. It's a line that I was thinking of picking up for those older versions of the Ghostbusters. Um, amazingly detailed proton pack. The stream looks epic. And then we've got an RC, um, a remote controlled ghost trap. That's awesome. Uh, if you haven't seen the new trailer for Afterlife, watch it. I think it's trailer number three. It's incredible. It looks awesome. It sounds awesome. And that figure actually looks really cool. So next up, what we have here. Oh, I remember this guy. What was his name? Mighty Morphin Finster. So Finster, he's the guy that created the um, the putties. That looks so cool. Those accessories. Wow. From the Lightning Collection. Um, yeah, so he's got... The suitcase, the putties, he's got his little tool that he's going to make them with. There's the putty, the clay putties, and there's the suitcase, so he puts them in there in the mould. And then they get bigger. That is so cool that they actually in included that uh, that suitcase and with the clay moulds and everything. Not just him as a figure. That is really, really impressive. I'm, yeah, I'm amazed by the fact that they did that. That's so cool. Next up here we have... Star Wars The Black Series, 6 inch, uh, from The Mandalorian. Never seen a box like this before. And it doesn't say who it is, so... Oh, Trapper Wolf. So, you see it before me? Ooh. X-Wing pilot. Trapper Wolf, a veteran of the rebellion against the Empire, Trapper Wolf now serves as a pilot in the New Republic. He flies his X-Wing as part of a squadron which patrols the outer reaches of the galaxy. That helmet is awesome. That actually reminds me of the wolf pack from the Clone Wars. That is so cool. And... Is it me? Is that Dave Filoni? I'm pretty sure that that's Dave Filoni. I am... Like, it's kind of hard to tell without his characteristic hat on. But let me know in the comments. I'm pretty damn sure that is Dave Filoni. I say let me know in the comments, I will already know because I'll Google it right after this video before I put it up. But regardless, let me know in the comments. It, like, seeing that face, that almost looks like Dave Filoni even more than the actual picture on the side of the box. That shows just how good they're getting with their um, scanning, printing thingamajiggies. Right, next up, another Star Wars item. Star Wars Return of the Jedi Emperor's Throne Room. Vintage Collection. Look at that. So you're getting Luke, Vader, Emperor, and the throne, the chair, I guess. I, I, I doubt that you get the window as well. Although if you do get the window as well, that is awesome. Oh no, it does actually say Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker figures not included. Hmm, sad face. But you're getting Emperor and the uh and the throne so maybe you do get the window who knows uh includes figure throne throne room window background and four accessories one would be cane another one would be electricity i guess we do actually get the window that is so cool yeah i don't i mean i've got a three and three quarter inch uh darth vader so that's no problem um i might have a luke i don't think i have a luke Hmm, I don't know, but the fact that you actually get the window, that's so cool, like, it's such an iconic design, such an iconic scene, like, there you can see Disney and Hasbro, but turn it around and you just have the Kenner side. That is so iconic, there we have the lightning pieces on the side, and for a three and three quarter inch figure, that looks like a really good emperor. I'm really impressed with that. Kind of sucks that it doesn't come with Luke and Vader for the size of the box, but... Yeah. That's awesome. And... That's all the really amazing stuff out of the way, because now we have... Fortnite and Halo. So we have a Halo Nerf gun. I like Nerf guns, that's really cool, and it's really awesome that they are doing Halo stuff. I've got a few of their Star Wars stuff. Uh, and I'm definitely getting that alien blaster that they're going to be coming out with. Oh my god, I cannot wait for that assault rifle. 
but or the the pulse rifle whatever um this is cool halo isn't super duper my thing i, I like halo i enjoy halo um it's a thing that they make but i would have preferred another action figure but that is pretty cool next up we have fortnite never played it don't really wanna um but i do watch dr disrespect play it more more so to watch doc than the game but i do have to say the figures and the characters of the design the banana dude the blue squiggly thing you know the one um they do look really really cool so it, it would be awesome to have a few of the figures and, and have a few of the the cool designs these are bigger kind of deluxe things that are victory royale series uh, so we have meow schools in brackets shadow it's a ninja cat mercenary dude with muscles i mean that's cool you don't have to like fortnite to think that that is cool that's cool and then next well last actually with a beaten up box it was in an area of the box where this was like the only thing that could move um we have uh sky and ollie so they do actually look really cool that red thing ollie looks really cute um she looks like she's just come straight out of uh, adventure time especially with the sword and shields that she's got and then there's the big red flying thing that they still look really really cool um i'm gobsmacked i'm blown away i mean that ravage is something that i saw thought looked cool didn't think i'd buy because it is a bit pricey for a deluxe um the infinity saga stuff is more expensive marvel legends they're things that i would get definitely a hundred percent but i would have just waited a little bit on them um for them to come down in price at some point which would be a long time like over a year at which point you've got to hope that you can actually still find them because a lot of things like that do actually not get uh made in the big numbers that a lot of the main lines do the builder figure lines uh they're sold at a higher price they are targeted for collectors and uh who knows if i would have been able to get them or not um, the Cantina Showdown is amazing. I'm happy with my Black Series Obi old Obi-Wan that I've got. But that setup in that Power of the Force box and everything as well. that That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, Zartan. Zlatan. Master of Disguises. Um, that looks really cool. Not a huge G.I. Joe fan. I like Snake Eyes, mostly because of Ray Park, but there you go. Um, it's not really my thing, but that does look really, really cool. The same thing with the Halo Nerf Gun. I like Nerf Guns, but Halo, I do really like Halo. It's just I've always been a PlayStation guy and a guy myself, so I will play through all the Halo games at some point. I just haven't yet. Ghostbusters Afterlife, that's awesome. Uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection, that's awesome. And having the emperor's throne room and actually having not just his throne like you can get with the six inch black series figure remember that is the vintage collection it's the three and three quarter inch figures um but actually being able to display that with the uh the window as well which is such an iconic and important uh piece to add to that behind the throne i mean i feel like you've got to have that uh for that display to look awesome i can't wait to open that thing and, and review it and again, I am going to be opening everything here. I'm going to be reviewing everything here. If there's a couple of things, like for example, Zartan maybe, or or maybe some of the Fortnite, maybe this Sky, I'm, I'm definitely keeping Meow Skulls just for the name. That's awesome. Um, there might be a couple of things that I do a giveaway for. Who knows? Who knows? But there's not just my giveaways to look forward to if I do them. Um, Hasbro Pulse on that sheet, it said that they are doing giveaways on the weekend. So definitely tune in to PulseCon 2021. Uh, you'll also see yours truly on the background somewhere. 
probably off picking my nose or, or, or sneezing or something when they do actually put the camera on me, but I'll, you know, I'll try and I'll try not. I normally do watch those kind of events anyway, but quite often watch like highlight reels of them or look to my other uh, colleague associates on YouTube, other toy reviewers for their uh, highlight videos and stuff. But this time around, I'm invited to be part of it myself. So I'm really, really excited for that. I was really excited to accept this uh, swag package. It was actually only two days ago and this thing's come from the States. So I don't even think it came by plane. I think they literally teleported it into my house. Um, it's crazy, it's insane. I wanna thank them a million times over and that would not be enough. This has been absolutely awesome. I've never been sent anything like this for free, you know, one or two items here or there, but damn, this is amazing and I, I just again I cannot thank them enough I'm bambling on now at this point you've seen everything in this and like I said I will be doing reviews of everything there'll be pictures of everything um this video will go up but I won't get any pictures up maybe for a couple of days because I will be busy and there's no way that I'm setting this thing up for video now I need to make uh, for pictures sorry um I need to make a bit of space for that because there ain't space this box is huge anyway for now guys thanks for watching uh, if you want to see more from me check out the videos on screen right now and links to my social media in the description below and for reviews of all this stuff for more future unboxings for more marvel legends transformers star wars all this awesome stuff go ahead and subscribe thanks for watching guys and i'll see you at hasbro pulsecon